Hey you guys, Ken McCann here with my husband, John. Hi everybody. In the ending of Pokemon Sad. We start off sad, thanks dear. Which means we have nowhere to go but up. Or in our case, what you, what you, what we do, and what that you shouldn't do, eat your emotions, especially with candy or chocolate. No, you shouldn't do that. You should see Kel. But I swear, we do is just as much psychiatric cheering on as much as we do food. Because we want people to be okay. Yes. And do good for themselves. And watch our videos. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that's a given. Anyway, specifically, we're new because in one of the reviews, we've done a Mr. Beast bar. Guess what I found at my local Albertsons on sale. Don't know if they will still be on sale by the time this video comes out, but they were. The rest of them. Yep. I got more. So that is how many bars? One, two, three, four, five. So because there's five and there's candy, we're not going to run down the nutritional value because... It's candy. It's bad for you anyway. Stop saying it's bad for you anyway. It's not good for you anyway. Not good does not mean bad. It just means not good. Hmm. Anyway. First one, because I'm just going to go from... Take one as we go up. Because remember, between good and bad is neutral. And then you have to wonder what drives a man to be neutral. Right, Kiff, bring us the candy bars. I am totally not Kiff. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Beast bars. First one we're doing is crunch. Just milk chocolate with puff rice. Similar to a like a, bar. a crunch bar, a crackle bar, if you get those uh, collections of candy every year. But you know what? I don't see anything wrong why why it can't be a full size candy bar. I love crackles. Same. If you can open it. Violence is not the answer. No, it's a question. And you know what the answer to the question is? He got it open. Yes! Good job, honey. Bravo. Violence is not the answer. It's a question. The answer is yes. Remember that, kids. And it definitely smells like... A, I can smell the chocolate. Oh, yeah. Share and devour. <laughs> that devour part better be bigger. For a share. Are you kidding me? We're sharing the share. Yeah, we are. Boink. Now this is milk chocolate with puffed rice. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. It says milk chocolate, but that's leaning a little more on the darker side. There's a little bit of bitterness in there. Yeah, there is. That I associate with the higher cocoa, cocoa content. It's not bad, though. No, not at all. I'd eat that. I might eat some of that. I definitely will. So the next one is a chocolate sea salt. And chocolate sea salt may sound weird. Oh, also, only five ingredients. That's just, you know. Amazing. Yeah. Cane sugar, organic chocolate liqueur, organic cocoa butter, sea salt, and sunflower lecithin. Hmm. All righty. Indeed. Don't make me do this again. Don't make me violent <laughs> again. I'm trying to. I'm trying to work past the violent ways. <laughs> good. Good. Anyway, I got this one open much much with. <clears throat> Which, with much less hassle. I promise, English is my first language. You can have pretty. Share size again. 
Chocolate sea salt. Yep. Oh, that's definitely more on the dark. Yeah, really. Mm. Oh. There's the salt. All right. All right. That's interesting. Sea salt, the sea salt kind of just shifts the flavor profile. And not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. Just It's different. Different. Next one is original chocolate. That's uh, kind of just, you know, only four ingredients. Mm. Cane sugar, chocolate liqueur, cocoa butter, sunflower, the less of them. No sea salt. Mm. Who would have thunk it? Mm. You better <laughs> fast forward through this. <laughs> why? Now, why would I do that when I don't do a whole much change to these videos? I leave them as organic as I can. Yeah, especially when I have to go to the other side of the bar that I should have opened to get to the share side. The other, so the other side, the dark side. <laughs> Now, this is original chocolate. Yep. Definitely need more on the dark side. Again. Which there is a lot of dark chocolate in these. Especially when it says it's supposed to be milk chocolate or something. Yeah. And speaking of milk chocolate, that's what this is. That did not lie to us. Only five ingredients. Oh. Cane sugar, cocoa butter, chocolate liqueur, organic milk, and organic vanilla powder. Hmm. That's different. Wait. <laughs> He's got to find where the shareable part is. Opening it right this time. But dear, we have such a pattern. Look. Out, in, out. And he got a lot quicker this time. I learned. Tastes definitely more towards milk chocolate than dark. Yeah. Box mug. Box mug. Me 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 hot mug. And now for the last one. These nuts. These what? These nuts! Yep. It is a ch milk chocolate bar with peanut butter. <clears throat> with seven ingredients. Peanuts, salt, and organic vanilla powder mm. are the differences here. Now the question is, do I continue the pattern? I mean, the pattern that they can't even see, of course. Of course I do. <laughs> it's all about that pattern. It's very subtle. Very. Dang. Like, you can see the color change. Barely. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, but there you it can't, is. But you can taste it. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. It was better than I thought it was going to be. I'm a Reese's purist, so... Mm. If you have peanut butter in a candy bar, there, there's a certain standard I'm holding you to. All right, um... <coughs> now, least favorite to favorite. Least favorite to favorite? Yes. Me first? Yes, you first. Okay. Least favorite. Now, this is one of those rare occasions where it's the least favorite only because there one has to be one that's last. I actually relatively liked all of these. Like, they, were, there wasn't a bad one in the batch. Mm-hmm. So, I just want to clarify that right now. There's not a bad one of these. It's just, there's got to be one that's got to be last. And that's just going to have to be original chocolate. Then milk chocolate. Honestly, if I could, I'd put them both on about the same level. Um, these nuts. I mean, it tasted great in my mouth, but like I said, I hold that to a certain standard. Um, chocolate sea salt. And actually, I am a big fan of Crunch Bars, Crackle Bars, and therefore, chocolate with crispy rice. Now, as for me, slightly different. But I am with John because I liked all of them. But there has to be one that's at the bottom. For me, that is the original. Okay, so for... Original is last, then the chocolate sea salt. It was okay. That was my number one. Two? I think so. So, then my number two. So that's your number one. Okay, next would be the milk chocolate, which was good, and I do prefer milk chocolate over dark. Okay. Then these nuts... I like peanut butter, so these were pretty good. There was a car breaking outside the apartment as she said that, and right she said these nuts screech. <laughs> hmm. And then, just like John, because I love me a good crunch bar, crackle bar, the um, the, the what is it called? The, the crunch, crunch bar. The crunch bar as number one. Yep, it is really good. Yes, look it at that is. bottom. It's it's just perfect. Yep. We're grown adults, I promise. No, no, we're we're older people. We're not grown up. And with that sweet ending. To our to the start of our next 100 videos. Oh yeah yeah. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. Ding. If you want to see other videos, we do other food try videos. We do alcohol try videos, 18 and over per YouTube standards, as well as my audio story podcast. Good morning, McAdam. Hi. I think by the time this one comes out. I'm pretty sure the um, sixth season is already over. Which means summer break for those wonderful kids. Including the winged students that you can't uh, admit are real. And the teachers, and the principal, and our favorite announcer gets a break too. It's okay. Just remember, warm salt water heals the throat up. So does a break. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know when these come out, hit that bell and make it ring. Ding. Till next time, you guys. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>